Hello everyone, this is Ernie Lee, Li Cunshi here. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your own impulse response in the uh, Logic Pro impulse response utility, which is hide inside the space design like a jam. So uh, basically you can make any kind of impulse response you like, uh, whether it is uh, the, the reverb in your own bathroom, your garage, or the guitar pedal, uh, the reverb guitar pedal you like, or or guitar amps you like. And usually you will play a sample impulse, or direct impulse, sine sweep, or uh, noise uh, through a speaker or line out. Then it goes through the guitar pedal, guitar amps, or speaker out uh, to your uh, the space you like, the, 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 the bathroom you like. And then you collect your result, your, your impulse result uh, through a microphone or line in and then you deconvolute your uh, impulse, uh, the result, which is called when you decon after you get deconvolute, you call the impulse response. So uh, the normal configuration will be a little bit different today. I will use uh, the the effect, the reverb inside the logic uh, for demonstration today. So the configuration will be a little bit different uh, than normal. Just let you know, I use a virtual. Uh, port one for the input five and virtual port two for our output uh, output six. All right, so let's begin. So first of all, let's uh, open up the reverb we like, whatever you like. Uh, maybe it's uh, okay. EDM Super Soul Anthem Hell uh, Hall, which sounds really cool. And then maybe okay, twenty percent looking good. And then according to experience, the the same it will quite, the sample will be quite loud. So just make it like a minus 25 dBs. And then we open up our space designer. It don't need, it doesn't really need to be on the same track, but since I'm going to demonstrate this uh, after we've sampled it uh, through this track, I'll just make it on the same track. You don't need, really need to, on the, uh, to put it on the same track. So that's, uh, Let's open up. Bleh. Let's open up uh, a mono track, mono reverb, and then open IR utility here. All right. So make everything simple. Use a mono configuration. So a short introduction. Here's our audio input. Here's our audio output. Uh, sampling rate. Make sure all your sampling rate is consistent with your project, with your input, with your sound card. And then here's you can how you monitor your uh, your 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 sampling, and the sweep here I'll uh, output the sine sweep the sample sweep through the channel five virtual one here input five, and then let's just make a short uh, preview. Okay, it's quite loud, isn't it? And then uh, here the input is channel six virtual two, which is how I collect it through the output six. And let's put the record here. It will say you will erase the previous one, which is what exactly what we want. And the reverb time, since the previous one is say uh, seven seconds, and this the sample is five seconds, I'll make it like a uh, fifteen seconds. Looking good. And then there we go. I'll make a sine sweep, and just watch out for your ears. The sine sweep will be quite loud. All right, everything looks good. And then that's a uh, uh, save it called the reverb test. Save it as a project. So it's got, it's got a project name. And we can actually cut it so that there's no, no, no tails. So make it cut it. Uh, okay, let's make a preview. Oops. All right, anyway, so that's uh, deconvoluted. All right, so we have our deconvolute result, which is our impulse response. Okay, there we go. And we can erase the rest. I don't think we don't we need it. Crop. All right, Wait, where it is? Right here. Crop. 
Okay. So here's our impose. So how you save it? Uh, you create a setting, uh, which is uh, called uh, reverb test. Okay. Okay. So remember to memorize this path, which you will need to copy it later. Press OK. All right. So I have my reverb test over. Oops. Over here, and then I'll copy it to my folder. <laughs> And then actually, you can rename it called the WAV files. So you can import it to a to other kind of impulse response utility uh, next time in other programs. So it is actually doable. So anyway, and close it, close it. We don't need it anymore. Uh, save, save, save. Uh, repo, replace. And uh, just close it. We don't need it. We want to try our own impulse. Load IR, and then uh, reverb test. Here we go. All right, this is our impulse response. And then let's try it. I'll use my own guitar, which I think, which channel it is? Oops. Uh, which channel it is? Oh, channel one, okay. All right, let's try it. Here. All right, so that's how you make your own response, impulse response. So thanks for watching the tutorial uh, with me today. And message me or leave a comment uh, if you have any problem. Thank you so much.